गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सिक्स आई एम अनिल भगत योर साइंस टीचर फ्रॉम मॉडर्न इंटरनेशनल स्कूल बिस्वा वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर नाइन दैट इज लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड हैबिटेट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर we had discussed about the different different regions and how different different animals and plants are there now today we are going to discuss about the habitat that there are two types of habitats mainly one is terrestrial habitat and another one is aquatic habitat but before entering into the terrestrial habitats and aquatic habitats we have to understand there are two factors in every habitat or the components of an habitat we can of a habitat we can divide into two one is abiotic and the other is biotic biotic means those components which have life like plants animals insects microorganisms these are the biotic factors abiotic factors means those who don't have life like soil water sunlight rain these are the abiotic factors of a habitat like this abiotic factors also important for us here in the in your uh, chapter there is an activity is given that is activity 2 it is about seed germination that you have to take some seeds put into water for one night and tomorrow take those seeds and put them in different different conditions take the soak uh, some soak seeds and some dry seeds place the dry seeds alone so water is not there then again take the soak seeds put it in a submerged position some in a, a very sunny room some in completely dark room some in cold surrounding with ice or in refrigerator you can put it and after some days you will find that only the seeds which have water sunlight air they are able to germinate other seeds will not germinate so in this way you are able to understand that this abiotic factors are also very important for our life so in a habitat there are two factors that is abiotic means those who don't have life and the biotic means those who have life and both are very important for us now here today we are going to understand about terrestrial habitats and aquatic habitats so terrestrial habitats mainly they are mountainous they are desert they are grassland so you can divide terrestrial into three part mountain desert and grassland in this three way you can divide a terrestrial habitat mainly there are more divisions will be there but mainly we can divide like that so in a desert the condition is hot hot condition and we discussed how camel survive in hot condition so camel is not only the animal which live in desert there are uh, desert snake there are desert rat there are desert lizards are there so a lot of animals are there in desert so how do they survive as we know in the desert there is what very hot in the day so they go deep inside the sand and they survive they come out when the atmosphere is comfortable like in the night the plants in the desert how they survive so they converted their leaves into spines or very small leaves so that transpiration is less loss of water is less so like this plants and animals survive in the mountain regions plants have cone shaped because they are very cold is there wind is there and snow fall is there in the winter season so if they are cone shaped so rain snow everything what they slipped away they will not gathered or accumulated or collected on the surface of the plants so they slipped away then there are some animals yak yeah, they are very thick fur or thick uh, so here on their body and goat it mountain goat is there snow leopard is there whose whole body is covered with fur even the toes also covered with fur so this is how they survive in the mountain regions 
then comes the grassland region if you observe grassland region then you will find the color of the animals are like that so they can hide themselves in the uh, grass or in the trees and can hunt or can be safe from the hunting their eyes are in the front like lion so they can see a very uh, long distance in deer the eyes in the side so they can uh, see the wide areas and protect themselves from the their predator the leaves the uh, trees of the of the grassland areas they are tall and uh, they can shed their trees in uh, shed their leaves in winter season so this is how animals and plants survive in the different different terrestrial habitats now if you talk about uh, aquatic habitats so oceans are there in oceans several type of animals are there plants are there there are some uh, there are huge variety of fishes which have gills for breathing whales and dolphins are also there and they have blue holes they come on the surface of the sea and take a deep breath from the blue holes they spring like uh, water they spring the water they throw out the water and take the breath and again go deep inside the sea so this is how in oceans these animals will survive the body of the fish is streamlined and they can swim easily now if you observe in the ponds and the lakes so you will find that there are several type of fishes present in the pond insects are there plants are there in some plants the root is fixed into the ground so that they cannot float in some some plants they can float from one place to other place in some plants the root is fixed but the stem is very flexible their uh, flower is uh, floating on the surface their leaves are what separated leaves so water can easily flow through them so this is how plants also adapt to live in that type of heavy tent so class i hope you are able to understand about the different different type of habitats if any problem ask me class i will help you have a great day be safe at home thank you